Hi, welcome back all of my 80 subscribers. Appreciate the love so far. If you're not one of my 80 subscribers, my name is Jeremiah. I make lifestyle and tech videos and today is a tech video. A lot of people have been asking for this video and okay, not a lot of people. Okay, no one has asked for this video, but I thought I'd make it because I thought it was a pretty cool idea. But let's rewind it a couple months back, two months, three months, geez, four months ago. I started a new position and I walked up in there with my little PC and they all laughed at me and threw rocks at me. So I did the obvious thing and bought a MacBook. I didn't quite love my MacBook until I installed these five utilities that you can get for free. So before we get into the best five free Mac utilities of 2020, a message from our sponsors. Roll the tape. I didn't know if I should keep creating content during a time where the world and the the nation is hurting so badly over police brutality and racial discrimination. And I was leaning more on the edge of not creating content at all and allowing the movement to get the light it deserves. And I was leaning more this way until I saw black YouTubers in tech first speak on the subject, speak on what Black Lives Matter movement means to them, their experiences, and then continue to make great content. And I think now it is incredibly important for me to share my experiences as a black man in tech because you never know who's looking up to you. And speaking of you never know who's looking up to you, I want to give a shout out to those black YouTubers that I draw inspiration from, like Jossie, Marquise Brown, Jarvis Johnson, and Dummy Codes. Thank you for being someone that I can look up to and inspiring me to keep creating during this time. Um, and with that being said, Black Lives Matter, and let's get into the video. Thanks for sticking with me so far, and without any further ado, these are the top five free Mac utilities you need on your Mac in 2020. Let's get into it. Now first up on the list is an honorable mention. I'm sorry Homebrew, but you didn't quite make it. Homebrew is a command line utility. You install it once, and then from then on, you can install all these utilities or popular applications by typing in a simple formula into the command line. Instead of having to go to each individual website, download and install, you just type one formula, and you're good to go. If you're a developer and you're curious what's going on underneath the homebrew hood, I believe it's just Git and Ruby Magic doing their thing. I almost forgot to include it, but I will be sure to link the formula to first install homebrew and the formula for all the other utilities on this list in the descriptions below. Number five on the list is Shift It. This was my biggest pain point was trying to move windows to one side of the screen or the other. On a PC, it's super simple. You just press the window key and left and right, and then you can automatically snap your current window to one side of the screen or the other. Apparently, that's not a feature that comes out of the box with a MacBook, so shift it solves that problem. All you have to do is press Control, Option, Command, pick a direction on the D-pad, or press M to maximize completely. If you forget all the directions you can press, you can always click on the Shift It icon. It'll give you a drop down of all the possibilities you can use with Shift It. Number four on the list is Cheat Sheet. It's Cheat Sheet. It's so hard to say. Cheat Sheet. That's hard. Cheat Sheet. Anyway, as mentioned before, I am a developer and I use a lot of hotkeys and shortcuts throughout my day-to-day -day workflow. And I cannot remember all of them at all times. So Cheat Sheet hooks your boy up. All you have to do is press and hold the command key on your Mac and it will show you a window of all the possible hotkeys and shortcuts available to you in whatever application you're using. I think that's the coolest part is that it changes the commands depending on what application you're using. Pretty cool. And once again, that's Cheat Sheet. If you're already planning on installing one of these utilities that I've mentioned, go ahead and leave a like or a subscribe and I will really appreciate it. It will really help my channel grow. Thank you in advance. Number three on the list is Flycut. I didn't even know I needed Flycut until I figured out what Flycut was. Essentially, you know how you copy and paste one thing at a time? Flycut will keep a history of everything you copied with a history of 40 copies and you can choose and select which one of those you'd like to paste. All you need to do is press Command Shift and you can filter through all the things you copied and then paste them as you please. And that's Flycut. Pretty simple. Number two on the list is ItzyCal. For some reason, the founding fathers of Apple decided that we as Mac users don't need to know the dates in the future. There is no native calendar on Mac, so ItzyCal hooks you up and gives you one. Uh, the cool thing about ItzyCal, obviously it's a calendar, but it also integrates into Apple's calendar. So whatever you add on ItzyCal, it will translate directly over to your calendar on your Mac. So that's pretty cool. Shout out ItzyCal. Last but not least, is vanilla. I'm not sure about you, but I cannot work in clutter. One second. Let's do that again. <clears throat> Last but not least, coming in at number one on the list is vanilla. 
I'm not sure about you, but I cannot work with clutter. And that includes my desktop on my machine. And after installing all these dope utilities, your upper taskbar might be getting a little clutter and that's when vanilla comes in. Vanilla, after you install it, it allows you to hide all of those utilities behind an arrow. If you need something, you just open the arrow up and you pull from it. If you wanna take something in or take something out of vanilla, all you have to do is hold the command key and move whatever you want to inside or outside of the arrow. Pretty simple. And that's it, that is vanilla. Short and sweet, the best five Mac utilities of 2020. If I miss any of the utilities that you may use on your day to day, let me know in the comments. I'll definitely check it out. Stay safe, love each other, and I'll see you next time.